These magnificent students have worked hard this whole entire semester. And um, they're ready to show you their accomplishments of working hard with these um, fun, exciting, and noteworthy and challenging music that they haven't experienced before. And uh, it's been a pleasure uh, to work with them. One thing that I want to highlight this evening is I want to highlight some of the students that we have. We have some music majors that I'm going to let conduct this evening, as well as an alumnus of the university going to let uh, conduct, and we'll talk about that as well. This wonderful opening piece will be conducted by NSU senior music education major, Mr. Trevion Brown.
very proud of these students and I, I want to expose them as much as possible so they can be equipped when they come out and they start teaching in public schools. So they need every experience that they can to get in front of a band before they start teaching the band full time by themselves. The next piece we're going to do is Invincible Evil by John Philip Sousa. If you know who Sousa is, Sousa is the March King. He has written our wonderful Stars and Stripes of America, but it's so funny, this piece has outlived longer. He wanted this one to be the Stars and Stripes before Stars and Stripes became as famous as it did. And this march was dedicated to the Pan-African Exposition, which was held in Buffalo, New York, um, in the summer of 1901. At first, Susan thought Invisible would surpass the Stars and Stripes as a patriotic mark. And you'll see why. Um, you'll see a section that we have for the Piccolos. You'll see the Piccolos come on out. As a patriotic mark, all, march, although he nearly entitled it the Spirit of Niagara, and thank God he did not do that title. Um, this exciting piece is going to be conducted by me. <laughs> so uh, we're going to have the wonderful march. The Invincible Eagle by John Philip Sousa.
the name of the town. You wade in the water. By a daughter's hailstorm. Some of you all may know that familiar name because he is a yes. Oh, y'all are like, oh, yes. A daughter's hailstorm. Well, three days before me, so we know he's a he's a I'm Team Charles, by the way. April 17th, Rochester, New York, is an American composer. Hellstar began his musical training as a child on piano. He received his doctorate in composition from Michigan State University, where he was a student under H. Autumn Reed. He completed earlier studies at the Manhattan School of Music under Vittorio Gianni and David Diamond, the American Institute of Fontainebleau with Nadia Boulanger, and Howard University with Mark Fax. Now, what can, what can an artist do, asked Adolphus Hellstar? I can speak to the issues and put them in my work. These are the tragedies and triumphs of a people who have been beaten up for 400 years. Does anyone speak for them? Who writes pieces that speak for the existence of African Americans in the United States? I'll take on that job, and that's what he's done. Hellstorm's works have been performed by such prestigious ensembles as the Philadelphia Orchestra, the Chicago Symphony, the New York Philharmonic, under the batons of leading conductors such as James DeBrees, Daniel Berenbaum, Kurt Messer, and Lauren Mansell. Dr. Hellstorm, who has received honorary doctorate degrees from Michigan State University and the College of William and Mary, resides in Virginia Beach and serves as professor of music and American scholar at Old Dominion University in Norfolk. In 1992, Dr. Hellstorm was proclaimed a cultural laureate of the state of Virginia. We, as NSU, had the honor of Mr. Hellstorp, Professor Hellstorp, as the professor of music here in the music department. And you was a gem for us for many, many years. This glorious piece will be conducted by Mr. Nakshon Sheraton, NSU alumnus, his bachelor's and his master's degrees from here, and adjunct faculty here at Norfolk State University. New way in the
Now, what is special about this piece is that I performed this piece 31 years ago when I was a senior in college myself. And um, I have the pleasure to have my students to conduct and perform this piece today. So this is a wonderful turnaround for this. So this charming piece will be conducted by NSU senior music education major, Ms. Megan Young, and our soloist is NSU senior music major, Jordan King on alto saxophone.
for the evening. Um, I, I do want to thank you all again for coming out this evening. I want to again thank the NSU Production Ensemble for performing. I want to give a big shout out to the Spartan Legion Marching Band that's here. I want to thank all of the, the band staff, my sister band staff that are here. Glad to see your faces this evening. Thank you for the support. It's been a long six months. That's so all I have to say. Two weeks to came come soon enough. Um, but it's been a wonderful challenge, but a, a challenge and a blessing. And I want to thank you all for that. I also want to thank uh, the music department faculty that are here. Thank you all, faculty that are here. I also want to thank, I want to thank you parents and family for coming out and supporting you. Because if not for you to have your child come here, to have them, they've been a wonderful blessing and it's been a wonderful experience since I've been here. I've been here 24 years. It's been a nice, nice ride. And it's been wonderful to have these wonderful students. Last but not least, I want to give a shout out to our alumni that are here. We have an issue alumni that are here in the house. And I want to thank them for coming. The high school that came back. Y'all had a tour today and then you came back for the concert this evening. So give y'all a shout out to come back. Don't go to the appreciation chairs we need to come to know. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, Sai, Tony, Sigma, and Fabio Alpha for all your undying love and support, especially to get through this semester. So it's done a lot, but I thank you all for that. The last piece that I'm going to do is Chester Overture by William Schumann. This is our challenge. This, I, I call this my war horse. For my older, older persons, when we talk about our war horses, these are the challenging pieces that you keep in the closet and that you still keep and you put to this day. Um, and this is a wonderful piece from here. William Schumann actually started off as a business major, if you can believe it. <laughs> and then he just wanted to pursue um, Music after he heard the New York Philharmonic, and that made him change into music. And um, this composition was based on the very time of the American Revolution in 1778. So you can hear a little bit of war and strike going on, and that you'll hear that in the piece. And it appears on a book of tunes and anthems composed by William Billings called The Sinless Master's Assistant. And this book became known as Billings Best following his first book that was called The New England Psalm Center, which was in 1770. Chester was so popular that it was sung throughout the colonies from Vermont to South Carolina. It became a song of the American Revolution, just to give you guys a little background. Sung on the campfires on the Continental Army and played by fighters, and fighters are the flute players, um, while they marched. The music and words, both composed by Billings, expressed perfectly the burning desire for freedom which is staying the colonists during the difficult years of the revolution. Thank you again for coming out, and this is Chester Overture by William Sheep.
jazz ensembles and jazz combo. It'll be here in the lobby or in room 149 tomorrow. And on Saturday, 5.30, if it's beautiful,